1114 Commerce Street was once an old railroad warehouse. Built in 1928, the building is now occupied by 2,000 government workers. Everything about this building is old, including the moldy wood and water air conditioning system. Last summer, inspectors discovered an unknown type of fungus circulating through the building. A team of doctors was called in and determined the fungus could be the source of a disease called hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Much like an allergy, the disease is known to cause a shortage of oxygen in the lungs, producing fever, chills, and weakness. 54-year-old Louis Alvis has had all those symptoms. Last May, Alvis and a co-worker were forced to leave their jobs with the IRS because of their medical conditions. Uh, <clears throat> constantly tired, get to feel faint like uh, dizzy, uh, wake up during the night with pains in the arms and hands and legs. Uh, the arms go numb, just like they tingle and go to sleep. And... Alvis, who has worked in the new and old federal buildings 12 years, could receive 75% of his pay if the government acts on his disability claim. The government says it's still not sure why Alvis is sick. Today, the results of a six-month study on the problem was released. Written by a team of doctors, the study says the health risk associated with working in both the old and new federal buildings when the air conditioning is turned on cannot be totally assessed from the current findings. Although the report on the air cooling system is inconclusive, the government says it's still going ahead with a $12 million renovation program here. Next month, the building's 2,000 employees will begin moving elsewhere. Meanwhile, doctors close to the case say there is no guarantee whatever is in the air here won't remain after the renovation is completed. Nor is there any guarantee, say the doctors, that the building next door hasn't been contaminated by the mystery fungus. Bob Serkin, Channel 8 News at the Dallas Federal Building.